Hey, hey, it's okay, okay. Today I'm here, I'm going to give you a quick breakdown of flat coloring. Uh, I did some background videos yesterday uh, and the day before that. Um, I've got a question from a, a, a viewer. They were wondering how I do green screens. Um, I'm sorry, I uh, must not have uh, addressed that. I kind of thought it was an easy thing to learn, but um, I'm going to go ahead and give a basic breakdown of flat coloring and how to go about getting these green screens uh, that I call them uh, and how they really speed up the process of coloring. Uh, this process right here is called flat coloring, at least that's what I call it. Some people might call it cell shading. Uh, it's basically where you take this inking layer you did and you just put single colors on it. There's no shading whatsoever. Uh, and this is to give you your foundations for shading and it is also to give you the method of quick selection. Um, I use the magic wand a lot in this process when I'm about to start shading. Um, we'll go to the first part. When you're going to start um, when you're going to start flat coloring, you will, you know, select this area in your inking. You would select, you know, maybe uh, you would select all her skin, you know, like that. Uh, the thing about uh, Photoshop is uh, this brush tool you're using, at least I use, it is not a rigid line and it kind of gets you weird little um, outer areas. I'll show you what it looks like if I color that. Uh, let me get a quick skin tone right here. Um, and this is what it looks like and you, I'll show you what how that is wrong. Um, so when I take off the selection you see oh look at all this mist area it looks awful. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, fix that by doing that selection again right I got it all selected again and I've created a hotkey for uh, the layer modify expand uh, I just hit expand right there um, and you can expand it by one or two pixels usually that covers it uh, depends on your image size and image quality and when you do that ah, the magic you see it selected all those lines and uh, you know it's not perfect but you can go up to uh, modify expand two pixels and it does a better job uh, but that is just a little demonstration of how to get started flat coloring um, and the quickest ways I've learned to flat color uh, let's see you can also um, get this uh, flat color layer going and Someone asked me, you know, how do you get those green screens? And it's really, there's no secret to it. All you do is you don't ink a background. You just leave the background blank uh, because that's what a green screen is. You leave the background blank. Uh, there's no inking back here. You see this is all green. And uh, once I've got that all green, um, I can just select it and uh, color the background. I'm going to explain to you one more thing about this magic wand that I use when I'm flat coloring like all the time. Um, what I will do is, oh, I got some, uh, <laughs> got some comments down there. All right, so the green screen background. What I do is uh, I get this color and you can use the magic wand. Uh, the little little things I use on the magic wand are you can check this contiguous box or you can uncheck it. Let me show you what non-checked does. See when it's non-checked uh, it selects everything that is this exact color in the background and that is what a green screen is for. This is what makes flat coloring um, the easiest process to color because it, allows you to select everything on the page that is that color. Uh, I'll zoom out and you can see it's selected her down here, over here, over there, there, there. 
Uh, that is because I do not have contiguous checked. If I check contiguous, it only selects everything in this field of um, color. Uh, and it, once there's a barrier to it, it doesn't expand to that barrier. All right, the other thing with this magic wand is your tolerance. Uh, you can see up here, I've got a low tolerance at one or two right now. And what this tolerance means is the general uh, field of color. Um, like if you want this exact color and you do not want uh, any other greens to be selected, like I don't want to select every background. I just want to select this green background right here. And this green is very close to this green, but it's not exactly the same green. So if I expand my tolerance to say like, um, you know, 60, something like that, it's going to probably select all these green screens because they're very similar to each other. It didn't select this one, but it selected all these. Uh, and that is to explain what tolerance means. Uh, it means how much of a difference in your selection are you going to tolerate? <laughs> do you want this specific green or do you want all the greens that are similar to this green? And uh, that's kind of based on how far up uh, to like infinity you go. Um, you go up high enough and it'll be selecting green and it'll be se selecting purple too. Uh, but that's pretty high. <laughs> uh, so that is how you do a green screen. That's how you easily flat color. Uh, flat coloring is the easiest part of the comic making process. And usually uh, you can hire people out to do your flat coloring. Um, it's good apprentice work, that kind of thing, interns unpaid interns um, and the other thing I wanted to mention is that if you're getting if you were getting unpaid interns to do it uh, they're probably not doing a great job <laughs> so uh, you would need to come I uh, I pay my colorist so um, I they do a good job but even when I flat color I have to go back and get really close up and look for all these little pinhole areas. Uh, you can see me working on them right now. Um, it's just really easy to miss tiny spots uh, when you're flat coloring. But um, if you don't get the foundation laid right, um, when you're going back and when you're working, uh, when you move forward, uh, you're gonna run into problems. It's very important to get everything very, um, very precise and uh, very, uh, what's the word, just perfect. <laughs> get a perfect foundation or as close to perfect as you can get. I don't know if perfect's ach achievable, but um, you want to get really close to perfect. And that way you're not going to be backtracking. You're not going to be uh, adding steps to the process down the line. Like if you uh, add a multiply layer, the multi you're gonna have to go over and edit the multiply layer because you had a few little edges that weren't uh, super precise. You've gotta go back and fix that. Um, and so that is basically this, the story of flat coloring. Um, if you have any questions about flat coloring, uh, let me know. I know comics, you know, years ago used to be just plain and simple flat coloring. They didn't have shading, so uh, we've come a ways in our comic uh, entertainment, <laughs> and um, we do shade now. But um, I want to finish this video out by uh, showing you the last process of the flat coloring stage. Alright, so the last thing you would do after everything is perfect is uh, you would take your colors layer and you're simply going to duplicate the layer. I do that by dragging it down here on top of this new layer thing. It just copies it. Or you can right click and hit duplicate layer. That gives you a copy of the layer. It's the same exact copy. And what I do is I drag it below. I turn it invisible so I'm not going to modify it 
if you modify your uh, base color layer, like your uh, copy, it's just surprisingly easy to do because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of switching back and forth uh, later on. Um, if you modify that base foundation, it's kind of, it kind of ruins the entire process. So it's very important to keep this layer right here uh, unmodifiable. You could lock it or you could keep it invisible. I keep it invisible because I like to lock my ink layer and uh, just helps keep them keep me from getting them confused and it's easier on my eyes. So it's up to you, but don't modify your copy flat color layer. That's the whole point. And don't modify your ink layer either. But <laughs> uh, that's really what I need to communicate for the final piece of information. All right, so this has been OK, 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 OK. And I'm working on the Halloween costume comic. Uh, Pre-order is now out. And um, Sunday, in a day or two, well, actually, this uh, is this is Saturday, so it will be done tomorrow. <laughs> I hope you're looking forward to the comic. I'm excited to give it out or to show it. Um, it is a $5 comic uh, available through PayPal. It's a digital download. Um, thanks for all the support. Thanks for asking questions. Um, the other thing, I'm not going to be having music playing in the background of my videos anymore. Uh, I'll explain that in another video, but... Um, if you uh, would like to get more videos, like to see live streams, hit subscribe. If you feel like it, hit the like button. And I will see you next time.